Okay, moment of truth. So I've brought a lot of protein on flights, but that's the first time I've ever had every single bag of protein swab, just in case it might be a bomb. I Alright, so we're at check-ins, which is one of my least favorite parts of this whole experience because you sit around with a bunch of hangry people and you just can't do anything but wait. So all you can do is sit there and feel your stomach and, you know, everybody around you has that same, like, kind of ugly, drawn-in face and it's a pretty rough experience. Alright, so I made it to Gold's Venice and I'm probably not going to be able to film that much in there because I'm sure I'm going to play some Drake songs that I can't afford to license, but just so you can see it. All right, so I was walking through and I thought I was gonna get kicked out already, but Zach stopped me. <laughs> Did a couple sets of arms. And, I mean, he's killing it. I've, I've never felt that in my biceps like I just did. Amazing workout. Follow this dude. He's legit. Amazing, amazing, man. Thank you. Come on, force him out. Here we go. Yes. Get one. Oh, squeeze. Oh. There you go. Let's get another one. Oh. Come on. Squeeze. Oh. Force and three more. Three more. Come on. Don't sit it down. Go. Oh. Three. I'll take that. Go slower, though. Oh. Two. One more. Oh. Squeeze. Make oh. it ugly. Get it. Oh. Nice. Oh. Good. All right, it's a busy day, so we got pre-judging coming up pretty soon, so I'll just go check on them probably every hour or so, just to make sure their mind's at ease and they're really, you know, they're, they're drying out the way they should. But also, you know, I want to go run to Venice and train legs, because I feel like every time you travel to a city that's got a great gym, you should probably hit legs there. And then the second thing is, you know, my girlfriend bought these shirts, and I love them, they're super soft, but for some reason these Target shirts get incredibly long after like a month of having them. So this looks like a dress and it looks dumb, so I gotta get rid of this and find an actual shirt. So if you're curious how I shoot my videos, it's all with this A7 III. I just hop into the gym, sit there, and do like 25 takes of every single line because I mess up halfway through. Because I don't care how good you get, it's still nerve-wracking to look directly into the lens. Um, what kind of cereal do you guys have? Ooh, tough choice. Do you guys have almond milk? Okay, what about this? So I know I'm kind of a pain in the ass. PB and J sandwich. Um, all right, can I get two of those? So yesterday ended up being one of the longest shows I've ever been to because normally they have pre-judging, they have a break, and then the night show. Well, they had like, I think 485 people at this show. So it ended up being from 7 a.m. all the way up to 3.45. Night show started at 4, and then she stepped off stage at 9.45 when we got them something to eat. You know, I had a little bit because normally my cheat days on Saturday, I just moved it back and, you know, celebrated with them. That's why you saw me ordering peanut butter and jelly in the middle of the night, which, by the way, never came. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear me because the traffic's so damn loud, but I always do this when I go on vacation. I try to take a just quick walk just to, you know, feel the city a little bit. Wake up, obviously. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is I have the clients that just did the show. I'll run and we'll go to the beach. I'll do a photo shoot with them because, you know, they're like family. They brought me over for Thanksgiving after my mom and grandma passed. I mean, they're just incredible people. Plus, I love photography, videography, obviously, but the channel's a little bit different, right? So there's that today, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do about this horrible sky. Uh, that might all get photoshopped in, who knows. What's up, so, Los Angeles? 
I am Zed, and welcome to L. All right, so the trip's officially over. Um, clients did great. They're happy with how they look. That's the most important thing because you can never control who shows up to these shows. There was over 480 some competitors. So, I mean, she won her class. He placed. So that's all we can ask for. And I think my favorite part of the weekend was running into Zach because he just found me on YouTube, and he said I was helping him, which is, I mean, it's one thing to get recognized for even from for being an asshole. I don't care what it is. Just is an awesome feeling. But to know that you're helping somebody, know that this is actually working. That I'm connecting with people, giving value. That's all I can ask for. So the one thing I did notice though is I'm trying to figure out how to show the intensity needed to get to your goals basically. Because the one thing I noticed with him and most people I train is that's the biggest aha moment they have is when we start training together. It's literally this like light bulb of, oh my God, I'm not pushing myself hard enough. And that's why they either pay me to do it in person or just video it and keep track of them that way. Because I think that's the just the next step that everybody can take is just cranking up the intensity. So with that being said, it's time to to head home.